Hello and welcome to another episode of Choo Choo is a Ranker. On this episode we're going to be continuing our Albums of the Year list. This time it's 1988. In my opinion, 88 is kind of a weaky year, like the merry-go-round has kind of stopped and we're getting off and heading towards early 90s doldrums, but we're not quite there yet. The 10 records featured on this list are absolutely fantastic, no problem with those. However, the pool is definitely a bit shallower in 88, you know, it's not like 84 or 86 or even 85 or 87 where, you know, there was just so many great records to pull from. Definitely here, as I say, a bit shallower. But still, as I say, these 10 records on this list, absolutely fantastic, recommend them all. So without further ado, let's be complete rankers and rank up a storm. These are my personal top 10 albums from 1988. So we're going to be kicking off this list with Straight Outta Compton by the NWA. So 1988 was a really good year for hip hop. There were two massively influential and groundbreaking albums released that year. One was It Takes a Nation of Millions to Hold Us Back by The Public Enemy, which was a more sort of socially conscious, politically driven uh, record. I think that meant a lot to a lot of people. Yeah, really great lyrics on that. And the other one was Straight Out of Compton uh, by the NWA, which is obviously the one that's on this list. And that is the godfather of gangster rap. It's all about rolling up on police officers with, you know, a gat and pumping them full of nines. You know, every other word is an F-bomb. And uh, it's really misogynistic and un PC and aggressive. And yeah, of course, of those two records, I've got to go for this one because I'm a complete tourist. As Morrissey sang with the Smiths, right, hip hop says nothing to me about my life, basically. Um, but just like listening to really heavy, nasty thrash metal, just occasionally hardcore hip hop would just kind of scratch a certain itch. And this one definitely does that. Tons of stupid, puerile, idiotic fun on this. Straight out of Compton, the opener, really awesome. Fuck the police, of course, that's a classic. Of course, how can you not like that? Gangster, gangster, really stupid. I ain't the one misogynistic as fuck, but absolutely hilarious, as is Dope Man. Yeah, this record is just tons and tons of fun. Puts a smile on my face whenever I hear it. And yeah, Ice Cube, please don't come and beat me up for uh, uh, saying this is stupid. But yeah, great record. Next up, we have Tender Prey by Nick Cave and the Bad Seeds. So on this record, Nick Cave is continuing to ply his kind of weird, wild west, post-punk, gothic kind of music with lots of reverb and like shoegaze elements attached to it. Yeah, I think this is an absolutely fantastic record. I think it's much better than his previous ones. And in a lot of ways, I think this is his kind of like breakout record. Uh, opener, The Mercy Seat, absolutely fantastic. Like that repetitive chorus that just catch, gets catchier and catchier as it goes on, absolutely fantastic stuff. Watching Alice, beautiful piano ballad, slowly goes the night, like one of those really deep kind of crooning ballads that Nick Cave is so good at, absolutely fantastic. Uh, the highlight on this for me is City of Refuge, which just sounds like it's Joy Division. You know, just this thunderous, like, gothic, post-punk, rhythmic, just slice of pure badassery. I think it's absolutely brilliant. And this record is a really good record. I think it's a good step on in quality for this artist. Yeah, and an easy placing on this list. Next up, we have Green by R.E.M. On this record, R.E.M. are kind of in a transitional state. Half of this album is dedicated to more of the kind of pop punk of yore, and the other half of it is dedicated to more folkish chamber pop, which is the direction that, that would go in um, for the next couple of releases. Yeah, I think this is a really great record. The pop stuff really works. Pop Song 89, fantastic. Get Up, great. Stan, fantastic. Orange Crush, absolutely fantastic. And the other side, the kind of more folk rockish leanings, You Are The Everything, is one of my favorite REM songs ever. Untitled, the closing track, absolutely fantastic ballad. Um, I recently made a full ranking of REM, so if you're interested in more thoughts on this record, go check that out. But yeah, it's an easy placing on this list and a really good record from REM.
So next up, we have Workers' Playtime by Billy Bragg. So Billy Bragg is continuing his kind of like folk, but not quite folk, electroacoustic, lyric forward kind of style on this record. Uh, he has a bit more of a backing band on this, which gives the songs a bit more of a pop leaning. If you don't know who Billy Bragg is, he's an absolutely fantastic lyricist. His vocals are right up front and the most important part of the song. He has a really kind of overt catchiness to his uh, songwriting. Sounds a lot like the Smiths. His uh, vocal melodies often veer off in the same kind of directions as Morrissey's. Lots of fantastic tracks on this. Opens with She's Got a New Spell and Must I Paint You a Picture. Two really pop forward songs. Fantastic stuff. Tender Comrade. Really fantastic emotive performance by Billy Bragg. It's just him on this song. Just his vocals. No guitar, no music. Just his naked voice. It's absolutely fantastic. Uh, Valentine's Day is over another really catchy song and the album ends really strong with the only one the short answer and waiting for the great leap forward three absolutely fantastic songs especially the final track waiting for the great leap forward which is one of Billy Bragg's most famous singles super super catchy love the chorus on that you'll be singing it for days so yeah this is just an absolutely fantastic album go check it out Next up, we have Surfer Rosa, which is the debut album from the Pixies. Yeah, so this is just a gnarly, energetic, fast-paced punk record with lots of shoegaze elements and discordant guitars and like off-kilter melodies. Yeah, it's really, really cool. The first seven songs on this are just pretty much perfect. Bone Machine, fantastic opener, just sets up the stool really nicely gigantic really really cool i love the dual vocals of kim deal and francis black across this whole record i think they just make a really good tandem where is my mind of course is an absolute masterpiece of a song if you don't get chills during the opening of where is my mind there's just something wrong with your body and your brain uh after that song i think the record yeah goes downhill a little bit i think mainly because just whereas my mind is just such a monumental masterpiece and then nothing after it kind of matches that quality but still this is a record with 13 songs on it and only 33 minutes so it goes by in a blink of an eye and even if something doesn't quite land it's over before it even kind of registers so yeah this is just a really fantastic record of just high octane grunge punk So we're going to be kicking off the top half of this list with Seventh Son of a Seventh Son by Iron Maiden. Yeah, an absolutely flawless metal record, one of my favorite metal records of all time and also one of my favorite Iron Maiden records of all time, second only behind Power Slave, I think. Yeah, as I said, absolutely fantastic, flawless on this record. Iron Maiden are going in a more alt-rock direction, so if you're into alt-rock and you don't really like metal, this is definitely the Iron Maiden record you should start with because they really kind of like pull back on the metal aspects and like indulge in the more alt rock aspects and it's a flawless track listing as well it kicks off with Moonchild absolutely fantastic Infinite Dreams kick-ass solos can I play with madness just one of the greatest Iron Maiden singles of all time The Evil That Men Do also similarly one of their greatest singles Seventh Son of the Seventh Son the title track like just 10 minutes of just pure awesomeness love the synth work love the atmosphere on that prophecy more kind of traditional folk elements on that the bouncing the clairvoyant absolutely fantastic and wraps itself up with only the good die young only the good die young this is yeah a really fantastic closer as i say a flawless record what's it doing at number five we live in a crazy crazy world Next up, we have Peep Show by Susie and the Banshees, which is arguably my favorite Susie and the Banshees album. So 
The eagle-eyed among you might have noticed that Hyena and Tinderbox were absent from their respective albums of the year lists. That's because whilst I felt they were decent records, I don't think they really pushed on Susie and the Banshees sound. They were just kind of more Susie and the Banshees, just with a lot of reverb added. However, this one immediately from the get-go is just different. It has more of a rhythmic thrust. I love the drums across this record. I think the drum playing on this record is absolutely fantastic. Um, and the bass too, like the rhythm section on this album is fantastic. Like, and, and the bass is used in just a really kind of like exciting way where it's absent and then it will come in for like slight snatches to add energy. I really love that about this record. Peekaboo, absolutely fantastic opening. Like the Killing Jar, really cool. The Scarecrow again, those rhythms, love that. Carousel, really cool and creepy with this kind of like carousel opening. Um, Turn to Stone, absolutely fantastic and catchy. The last beat of my heart is just this gorgeous ballad. I absolutely love it. So yeah, this is just a really strong post-punk record. If you like post-punk and you haven't heard this, you're really missing out. This is absolutely brilliant and a very easy placing on this list. Coming in third place and taking home the bronze medal, we have Introspective by the Pet Shop Boys. This was the Pet Shop Boys' third album, and yet I just love the scope and vision on this record. This is the sound of the Pet Shop Boys really pushing the boat out and just having a crack and making the best record of all time. This is them really going out their way to try to make their Sgt. Pepper. And yeah, I love it when bands do that. I love it when bands really get the bit between the teeth and go for it. And that's exactly what's happening here. This record has six songs on it, but it's 48 minutes long. So every single song is kind of passing the seven minute mark on this. Yeah, and they're all in depth and really, really cool, really well structured, really well paced. Uh, I don't think there's a second of dead air on this entire record. I think every song is pretty much perfect. Left to my own devices, love the huge gospel choirs on that, fantastic stuff. Domino dancing with its euphoric chorus and really ornate Spanish trills is really, really cool. My favorite Pet Shop Boys song of all time, Always On My Mind, which of course is an Elvis Presley cover, and in my opinion, probably the greatest cover version of all time. I think they absolutely nail it. Here it's elongated, like it has lots of different parts and it's really atmospheric and like dips and then comes back and it's just, oh, it's just so dynamic and exciting. I absolutely love it. And the final track, It's All Right, again, super catchy, super atmospheric. Yeah, I think this record is absolutely flawless. I think it's the best dance record of all time and an easy third place on this list. And, you know, the fact that it's not first place absolutely boggles my mind. Fantastic stuff. So, taking home the silver medal, we have Viva Hate by Morrissey. This was Morrissey's debut solo album, recorded a mere six months after the Smith split up. I have recorded a full ranking video on Morrissey's career, so please go check that out because you can learn a lot more about this album and my personal relationship with it. And that relationship is, it's one of the most personally important records of my entire life. This really impacted me hugely the first time I heard it. It's very meaningful to me. But yeah, let's just stick with an objective overview for this particular review. It's full of great songs, Alsatian Cousin, fantastic opener. Uh, like little man what now just really cool every day is like sunday just one of the greatest morrissey singles of all time i love bengalian platforms angel angel down we go together with its like violin backing really really awesome late night maudlin street just an elongated super atmospheric super maudlin melancholy like morrissey song fantastic sweet head Another fantastic single, Break Up The Family, one of my favorite Morrissey songs of all time. Uh, Dialect Cliche, really cool in the closing track. Margaret on the guillotine, 
awesome Spanish trills on, on that record. I think this is easily one of Morrissey's best solo albums. I think it's absolutely fantastic start to finish. I have an unbelievable amount of nostalgia for this and it's just a miracle that this album didn't come number one on this list, but I'm satisfied with it being number two because number one is just one of the greatest albums of all time. So yeah, Viva Hate, fantastic record. I love it so, so much. So here we are at the top of the mountain and the gold medal for 1988 is going to go to Spirit of Eden by Talk Talk. So yeah, this is just one of the greatest albums ever recorded in the history of music. Holy shit, this album is phenomenal. It would easily make my top 10 albums of all time. I absolutely love it. And if you've heard this record and you know Talk Talk, you're going to be nodding along contentedly like, oh yeah. But if you haven't heard this record and you don't know Talk Talk, you're going to be like, who, who, what the fuck is going on here? Why is this stop? Just, hey, go check out some of the reviews from this record and then come back in the right frame of mind because this record blows everybody's mind. If you sit down and listen to it, it will blow your fucking mind. Like, basically, this created, single-handedly created the genre of post-rock like so many bands like Nine Inch Nails and uh, Radiohead like they all call back to this record and you know Radiohead for example has gone on record and, and has said like these records by Talk Talk were so insanely influential to them yeah fantastic fantastic stuff setting up what Radiohead did on like Kid A and Amnesiac but in my opinion a lot lot better here this is just the pinnacle example of that style of music i absolutely love it to a degree where it just kind of sits on this plateau of respect that very few records ever get to it's phenomenal like mark hollis's philosophy of like making every note count so a lot of it is just like almost silence and little pieces of sparse instrumentation but when like a single piano note comes drifting out of the ether you know it sounds so cool and again just so meaningful it's just so packed full of emotion it's really difficult and odd to explain it just needs to be heard the opener the rainbow absolutely fantastic eden fantastic like it's, it's hard to explain like the tracks individually because they're all based around atmospheric like minimalism uh, i believe in you packs a hell of an emotional punch i absolutely love that like yeah man just go listen to it that's all i can say about this record it's incredibly hard to explain when you listen to it for yourself you'll understand why it's fantastic i just can't really explain it i just it's just one of the greatest listening experiences you'll ever have in your life just get yourself a glass of whiskey turn the lights down stick your headphones on and just jet yourself off to heaven while listening to this record it's absolutely superb so there we have it that's my list for 1988 but that's almost certainly not your list i'm sure your list looks completely different please sound off in the comment section and tell me all the classic records that i'm sure i've missed you know i'm not superhuman i haven't listened to every record from 1988 so you're well within your rights to uh, advise a couple of classics although let's face it nothing's going to be talk talk spirit of eating because that record god damn that's good like share subscribe and all that other kind of youtube jazz make sure to check back for my 1989 list keep yourself healthy but most of all just keep on ranking <laughs>